In this video, I will show you a simple tweak that can transform your lyre to have that mystical, exotic, Middle Eastern sound. And then I'll give you some tips for playing or improvising your own music with that sound. Now, most modern lyre harps are designed with the Western major scale in mind, such as these lyres here. And they even have the letter notes in major scale written on the lyre next to the strings themselves to guide you how to tune them. However, the major scale is not traditionally used in Middle Eastern music, so playing on these lyres won't give you the sound that you're after, unless some specific strings are retuned to transform the whole set to a different scale. An easy way to do it is to tune the G strings to G sharp. It's a very simple tweak, but the change is immediate. Let's listen to the difference. This is the before, in the default key of C major. This is after tuning the G strings to G sharp. You can hear a difference right away. What I did here was to tune the lyre into the Phrygian dominant scale, a scale traditionally used in the Middle East, India, Central Asia, in Arabic music, Egyptian music, and also Spanish flamenco music. And there are different ways to tune the lyre into this scale, but I found this way to require the least amount of retuning. You only have to tackle the G strings, raise them up to a G sharp. So for this lyre, I only had to tune this G string into its sharp, and also this G string, and then this G string to their respective sharps. So after tuning, this will be a G sharp, and this will remain A, B, C, D, E, F, and this one I've just raised it to its sharp, and then A, B, C, D, E, F and G sharp and A. By doing this, we have now tuned the lie into the Phrygian dominant scale, and in particular, the E Phrygian dominant, with E being the root note. So now, what or how do I play some melodies? I'll give you two tips for improvising. Tip number one is to treat the root note, which is E, treat it like your home. So imagine a person's day. They, they start from their home and they go around, run the errands and they return home and then they go visit other places and they return home. So do the same on the lyre. Build the melody around E as the tonal center. Example, this line from the Jewish traditional melody, Hafa Nagila, I hope I'm saying that right, starts with E and ends with E. And notice the use of G sharp. Remember we just raised all the G to G sharp? This change in interval is what gives the music its Middle Eastern character, so use G sharp when you're improvising. I should also mention that E doesn't always have to be the starting point and end point of your music, and it isn't in music compositions. But for now, this is an easy way to get started. So this is tip number one, treat E like your home and engage G sharp. Okay, tip number two is to add a bass note to your music. This would add depth to your playing. And what I like to do is to engage this B string. Incorporate this B string as the bass note and add it to my melody. And for example, this is something I just came up with. I'll be using tip one and also tip two here.
Notice that I ended my song with this E string, and this is also an E, and it can also be a home. Like some people have two homes, well, but not for me. <laughs> okay, so this is how to make your life sound Middle Eastern, and how to improvise some songs. This is not the only way, this is just a simple method that I came up with, this is not the only way. So let me know how it goes, I'll talk to you soon.